Hi everyone, it's Lewis here. I'm filming this video slightly differently to normal. I've got quite shaky hands because I'm holding my phone camera because I wanted to do an update video on the Lego Falcon and uh, it's getting pretty heavy now so it's hard to actually show uh, properly on the webcam that I normally use so I thought I'll film a quick video as an update with my phone and plus the picture quality on my phone is much better up close than the uh, webcam is so this is the this is the update. I was going to do some more today, but I thought I'll do an update now because I've hit quite a good point with it. So this is the first lot of bags that are numbered one to four. So there's um, four sections, basically, and there's about four or five bags in each one. So um, I've done the interior and I'm starting to work on uh, some of the exterior as well. So we've got the front part here. Um, I, I can't remember if I did it in the last video, but there it is anyway. Um, and then we've got some of the interiors here. So we've got the... Uh, the little front room bit. Um, there's a little spinny chair here, and there's a couple of stickers there as well. Um, I like I said before, I hate stickers. There's a little seating area with a little chess game they play. I can't remember what it's called now, but uh, you can see the stickers where where the little corridors would go. Um, but yeah, I've done I've done quite well with these stickers so far. They're they're really difficult. Once you put them on, they're really hard to get back off. Before I had to like steam them off, which is really irritating, but. There's nice detail on the um, like the pipes and that sort of thing. It's all really well, really well put together. Um, that one there, the stickers on a bit wonky. You can't really tell from here, but it is going to be the bane of my life. I might actually adjust it at one point. Um, I think those are printed pieces there directly ahead. Um, but yes, yeah, so you've got the little doors and that. It's the interior here. Um, that's that bit slides open. The gun bit pops down, but I won't show that now because it's going to be very difficult to do with one hand. Um, and this is the last interior room here, um, which has got nothing in it, which is a bit confusing because the way this the way this is put together is that you um, build the interior and then they go in underneath. You you pop them in underneath the thing, and then you push those bits these bits here uh, in, and it locks them in place. Um, you can see this one here. There's a couple of bits there that lock it in. So I'm guessing something else is going to go in that room because it looks very bare at the minute, and you can see some bits that are still exposed. Um, so yeah, so that's that's been the main part of it. So that's the building on the top there. And I've just started doing these bits here, which are the exterior um, and the outer plating, which is the first time that's what the outside of the ship has actually come into play. Um, so I mean, this is this is a hell of a lot. <laughs> I think I've been I've been keeping a note of how long I've been spending on each time, and I've been like between sort of night or an hour, ninety minutes to two, three hours in it in certain goes. So. I've easily been on it for about 10 hours by now, which is fine because I've not got a lot else on at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool, fun build and I'm going to do some more now, which I'm guessing will be more of the exterior. I think the next lot, so this is the rear of the ship, this will be where um, the uh, like the blue bit goes around there where the, you know, the as it flies and stuff like that. I can't even think what to call it now, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so there's the overview so far. Um, like I say, it's built up all the interior, now it's building up around it and then over the top and that kind of thing. So still plenty to go, but really, really enjoyable. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, um, subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.